Welcome back to another episode of Stuck in the Middle of the Couch Talk. I'm joined by a few good guests. I hope you tuned into the last conversation. It was a really good one, a really, really dope conversation. I'm just going to reintroduce all the lovely guests I have here. Once again, this is Mr. Tevin Mason, aka DMV African Gifted Hands over there. You know what I'm saying? Valentine is coming. <laughs> Where's your girl? Even if it's not Valentine's Day, make sure you hit up Gifted Hands underscore 301 to get that massage. Fellas, it's a good gift and he's not going to crush your girl because he himself is a loyal man. All right? Black men don't cheat. <laughs> Shout out to oh, Urban to Disciple. Lamps. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if y'all caught the last episode, but Shorty was dropping those jewels. Make sure you tune in. The best immigration lawyer in the city of D.C. I got my man Terrence over here. And Nane, my occupational therapist. Yo, Shorty be getting me right, you know what I'm saying? I had to talk to her sometimes at late night, get my mind right, get my space right. <laughs> Let her know what's going on in my life, and she'll tell me everything will be okay. Right. Just go and read your blog on Stuck in the Middle. I told you everything you need to know. Make sure you visit SITMpodcast.com. Yo! New conversation, you know what I'm saying? We going with it. Ladies, do you feel that you're entitled to phone access? Because y'all just gonna go ahead and go go get it anyway. But do you feel like it should be the first thing a man should give you entering into a relationship? No. I know you saying no, you shaking your head, you like, nah, you don't, you don't. I don't wanna know. Why? Um, I feel like for me personally, if there's something that I'm supposed to know is eventually gonna come out. Mm. And I say that from experience in the sense that because as a therapist, I'm a lot of an observer. Like I observe whether or not they're you know, behind the rules and all of that. So if there's something you're trying to hide, it's gonna come out. Wow. I don't have to go look for it. Now if <laughs> I don't really recall an incident where I have had to go to a phone to find evidence or to confirm what I'm thinking is happening. So it always comes to me. You, you feel like woman intuition is real? Like, you know, because sometimes women will testify on God that, oh my God, I knew, I knew he was, I knew it, I knew went to his phone at night and I saw everything. So men should respect woman's intuition as soon as she said every- she did. Everybody has intuition. Yeah. The challenge is knowing what intuition is, because there's a thing about discernment too, and there is the mind playing over what you really feel. So yeah. when you get to understand the difference, then you can differentiate what is really intuition and what is your mind is, you know, running things over. And sometimes it's hard to explain. That's why. Sometimes I'll just say to myself, what do I need to know about this person? What do I need to know about this situation? And then it, it just pops out. It just happens. I've seen too many posts on Instagram where it's like, no, like, in order for relationships nowadays, because everyone wants that Insta love, right? You have to give these things. It's the only sign of trust, right? In order to uh, make it happen. I feel like men can still hide it if they want to hide it. I feel like everybody can hide it if they yeah. want to Yeah, so me giving you my phone, if I want to hide something, I'm going to hide it. And the thing is, women are better at hiding than men are. We sure is. I mean, that's because we're better at trusting. I can't hide the phone. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sorry, we are better at trusting, so we, we don't look. Wait, before you do that, I want to go ahead. Because she says she's better at hiding it. But you're saying that... Oh, which is better than trusting. Uh, yeah. My thing is, if I if I need to, if I feel the urge to have the password to your phone, that should be dating you. Yeah. I don't trust you. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like, I'm not about to be going crazy at night, playing scenarios in my mind. Either I trust you or I, I don't. don't. I like my peace. <laughs> so, if I need to have your password, it's like, oh, I'm going to give it up. Like, you're playing yourself at this point. Nice. But don't you feel like past experiences causes that? I've never experienced that that type of her like oh he's talking to some other girl like typically they're transparent like we're talking we're talking you know we're all not committed to each other we're just pulling each other out cool as long as i know but i'm no i don't 
So, men are more trusting. You know, I, I have a hard time believing that. Just because. Oh, come me, from a man. Me, no, me. I never put, I put nothing, but I don't, I, I will never put anything past a woman. I don't, from I don't think, okay. Not right. from experience, just in general. Oh. In general, I will never put, I, I can't put my faith into another human. That's okay. not, it's I not can't. that men are more trusting. I think men are more like, less likely to react than a woman would. Mm. So it's like men, like they're very passive. I'm sorry, they're passive. So they might yeah. not trust you, but they won't show that they don't trust you. But they they say certain things once in a while that's like, oh you don't yeah. trust me. <laughs> like I'm your DM. Who has texting you? It's like little things. It's like is that because of insecurity or like not trusting me? But women were very outward. Like we'll tell you like who is that? What's going on with y'all? What's your history? Um, why he's texting you? Why you're talking like that? But yeah, guys are the same way with women, but they're just very passive about it. Right. Let me let me let me let me tell you what 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 I what I feel about uh uh a woman having access to, to my phone. My woman having okay, access lawyer. to my phone. Right? Bring it down for us. <laughs> okay, so that's the reason why she can't have access to my phone. Jesus! Yeah, I agree, I agree. Right? You know, like, it's that's the only reason. Like, you know, I have confidential information coming through my phone, and obviously I can't have you having access to it. But that said, that said, um, there's also a husband and wife privilege. So, you know, obviously there's certain things. She, I mean, she would not be able to go into my phone and you know take stuff and use it. I don't think that that's the purpose of her going through through my phone anyway, yeah. right? So what I think is this, or oh, this is how I approach the, the the subject, and all of a sudden I just feel a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But let me tell you how I feel about the subject, right? Let me tell you how I feel about the subject. I will tell you exactly what my code is, but you better not use it. <laughs> If you use it for anything, i.e. going through my, my phone, for anything, for any reason, and I find out, then we have a problem. Mm -hmm. Because remember, I trust you, I'm just, I'm trusting you. So I expect the same thing, right? You know, so if I give you my access to my phone, it's because, you know, I could be infirm or whatever the case may be, and I need you to make those medical decisions. You know, or I need you to make those financial decisions. I need you to pull out money from everything. You know, or whatever. I'll pull out money from you know, yeah, I need you to make that decision. You 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 gotta be able to cash out that person. You gotta be able to call that Uber from my phone. You gotta be able to do all that kind of stuff, but you better not be using that yeah. thing to do what I think you want to be doing with it. Yeah. Because the, then we're gonna have a problem. The same way that trust is easily gained, trust is know. easily broken. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, yes, I've faced some experiences where I've had women go through my phone and they found some things that weren't so pleasurable. But at, in the same token, it wasn't necessarily that there was something to hide. It was just that, you know, the situation didn't align with what they would have wanted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I learned myself as a man through that conversation, through that experience. So I, I, I took a lot from that. So now I'm in a position where I feel comfortable saying, you know what, to avoid any doubt, any situation, any stress, here's my phone. Yeah, I be, yeah. If you want to go and go through my phone and give yourself that stress, go through mm -hmm. it. Take we, your time. You know, you know, my only problem with these things is, is, you know, my only problem with, with having, you know, uh, uh, with people invading other people's privacy, because that's what it is. It's an invasion of privacy. Yeah. Now, is it one which you think is is, is grounded in, in, in some rational belief, i.e. I think he or she is cheating and so I have the right to go, no, you don't have the right to do that. You don't have the right to, 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 to invade someone's privacy, period. That's all it is. No such right exists. That's, that's the lawyer's speak. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, no such right exists, right? So I, I personally think, you know, um, 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 it works for a healthy relationship for there to be trust. Right, it work. It definitely works. That's how you know relationships are supposed to, to work, right? You know, um, and sometimes you could go. Say for instance, I can, I I could give you um my 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 code to my phone or whatever the case may be, and you know you get in or whatever, and then you read a text, and you know you just interpreted interpret it some way completely different from what it was right? intended. Right, and then now I have to explain I have to it. explain <laughs> myself, yeah. and then 
when I'm done explaining myself, you best believe we're gonna address the fact that you open my phone. <laughs> and then now we have a different trust problem now because now I know you don't trust me. Now the relationship is not gonna work, right? You know, it's definitely not gonna work. Yeah. So it's like it's like if you have to go in there, you better pull out some goods because if you don't pull the goods out, <laughs> <laughs> but she but you won't know because she won't say anything because she found nothing. She. So now she looks stupid going through your phone. That's what I'm saying. If if, if she found nothing, right? Mm -hmm. If she if she found nothing and she doesn't say anything, obviously you never this find out. But if she found she, something which is ambiguous, yeah, yeah, and then she asks, this, no, this, this, no, no, hypothetical, right, hypothetical, she, hypothetical, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if if she finds something which is ambiguous, right, and then she comes and tries to ask for clarification, then now you know that she went through your phone, yeah. right? And how do you get back from that, especially if you did nothing wrong? Yeah. How do you get back from that? So, that's a good question, Tevin. Build on that. Okay, I'll say this. Um, for real, me personally, like, I agree with everybody with this saying, because my thing is this. Trust is the biggest thing when it comes to relationship. If you don't have trust, you don't have a relationship. Because how are you going to, you know, build a relationship where pretty much somebody texts you, somebody calls you, and it's opposite sex or same sex, whatever you're dealing with. You can't trust them. You know what I'm saying? You're going to think something's all that. You're going to be going crazy. So with that being said, like, me personally, my girlfriend knows my PIN code. I know her PIN code. You know, I told her, respect my privacy. I respect your privacy, you know. So with that being said, I just feel like it should be a, a trust thing. So moving forward, like, if you do go through somebody's phone and then you don't see anything, now you're looking like Google the Fool, <laughs> you know. But also, another thing that can be damaging is... A lot of people, when they have that mindset where they're going through stuff and they think that person's cheating, they're looking for something. Exactly. And something might not even be nothing. So right. that being said, because, you know, I'm not talking about my current relationship. I'm talking about previous relationships mm -hmm. where I was talking to one of my uh, workers and, you know, I was just being a nice worker. You know, since she was mad at me, she thought I cheated. <laughs> and, you know, we ended up breaking up after that, you know, because I told her, I said, you made something that big of a deal to the point where... It was nothing, you know. You can call the person right now. I don't need to lie about anything, you yeah. know. Yeah. So, I mean, right now I'm currently with my new girlfriend, two years. You know, God bless. So I'm happy. Ooh. Everything happens for a reason. But you know, it's just one of them things where if I go through my girlfriend's phone and I'm mad at her and I'm trying to find something, the simplest text from any you know friend that's a guy, I can make it seem like, oh, you're sleeping with this dude or you're doing something with this dude behind my back. So, you know, she do the same thing to me. That's why I say it's a trust thing when it comes down to it. So, yeah. Thoughts from a therapist? Yeah, that's why I say I won't go through. What about other people? Because mm -hmm. when you start looking for something, then you're looking for something. And even if you don't find something, you're going to look for something to make something out of it. Yeah, I don't know. For me, I, I just feel like at the age that I'm at and with all the technology that's out there, you, you could go crazy. If you, because the game of trust is is a funny, funny, funny game. You know what I'm saying? You can hide stuff. Women, yeah. like I said, I personally don't put anything past any woman. Women are women are good at hiding things, and if a man a man won't pick up on certain things the same way a woman could. So for me to eliminate all of that stress, I'd see my passcode is this, 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 this. You can give me a passcode. I don't have the energy to look through the phone. If you want to look through my phone, right. go, go. Have, have fun. Take it. <laughs> Even if there's something in my phone for you to find, take it. That means that we weren't meant to be. Simple. Yeah. I'll accept it. I'm with you, bro. Like, honestly, like, I can tell you this, like, you know, from the time I started dating and small phones became a thing. And you know, we started exchanging even way back then. This is, I'm talking about way back in the BBM years, you know, Blackberry <laughs> Messenger, yeah, Blackberry. you know, like way back when, you know, since back then, you know, still, you know, you remember the very, the Blackberry with the very first yeah. the finger spray, yeah. the fingerprint thing on the mm -hmm. middle button. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, I, you know, my girlfriend at the time, she had the code, right? You know, but for me, it's always been that, right? You know, I'm going to give you the code. You better not use it. So why have it? No, no, you better not use it to kind of like go see things and explain it. Because whatever you see, I will not explain. So let me spin it like this, right? All right, boom. We've gotten a passcode. Hypothetically, black men don't cheat. 
<laughs> black men. Period. I like that. Black men don't right. cheat. Um, but sure. let's say there's this one off, off label ass nigga, man, <laughs> that's black that just so happened to cheat. Is it is is there a belief amongst the women? And I just really want to hear the woman, the woman's perspective. On it. <laughs> Once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't believe that statement. Oh, a man. <laughs> and just like the statement, all men are the same. I don't like that statement. Mm. Why is that? Because they're not all the same. True. I mean, they might have certain characteristics that run across them, but that's that doesn't make them all the same. So you don't believe that if a man has cheated once, no matter <laughs> I mean, he could cheat again, but that doesn't mean he always a cheater. So, but, that, but, you, but you said, you just no. said that. If he cheats once, he could cheat twice. But that doesn't mean that, I mean, he, he could possibly spend the rest of the life cheating, that's in his nature. But that doesn't mean that the, the one, well, or the men who cheated once are always going to be cheating. There might be a few who will always be cheating. But there are some who will not always be cheating. So is the general consensus that once a cheater, always a cheater? Um, it cannot be general because I think the way I think is somebody else might think differently. Mm -hmm. Lance. So I don't believe in once a cheater, always a cheater. But I do believe that people who do cheat, um, if they don't deal with that root issue that caused them to cheat, the they can find them. themselves in that cycle of cheating again. Mm -hmm. So whether it's discontentment, not satisfied with a partner, um, not trusting people, dealing with rejection, if they don't deal with those root issues, it can cause them to repeat what they started in one relationship and another relationship. You just unpacked something. You said that uh, there's a deeper issue to why people cheat. Yes. yes. The, you're not satisfied with one person. You don't think you're good enough to be loved by one person. You can't, you don't feel like you can't love one person. It's either, you, it's like you've never seen it before done, so you think you can, you're a byproduct of your environment. It's different things that cause people to cheat. If you don't deal with that issue, you're going to find yourself repeating that same issue. But anything in life, let's say you hate this one job. If you don't know how to deal with that one job, you'll get a new job and still hate that second job because that boss is the same. Some things don't follow until you break that cycle. Sometimes cheating might be that. But what, what do you feel like it, it should take to, I guess, want address that situation? Like, understand that, okay, I cheated and I cheated for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you feel is that... Um, that conversation, like what needs to happen in order for you to get to that point to say, I cheated for a reason, I need to address it and make sure that if I, I shouldn't be in that position to cheat again. Well, self-awareness. I think you need that's changing. Huh? Your willingness to change it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stop cheating? Do you want to stop cheating is the question. Like, you, there's a problem, now do you want to fix it? Or do you want to continue like in the cycle? First, you have to, you can't, you cannot change what you don't acknowledge. So if you accept that, yes, I cheated, then I want to change it, then. And you have to even figure out where that cheating came from, like what triggered it. Mm -hmm. This is something I, I, I don't trust people because I realize, oh, this person hurt me, so this person might hurt me again. And that's like, oh, mama day, they're not the same people, okay? Mm -hmm. They're not the same people. You can't project that on them. They're different people. And I have to like, okay, give that person a chance. Now, people who cheat, they might not realize they're taking the same concept from one relationship to another relationship and not realize that they're copying their behavior. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Can I add one more thing too? Of course. All right, so I'm gonna say this, and I know a lot of you probably gonna look at me like, man, you tripping, man, but a lot of, I'm gonna say this in the most arrogant way, a lot of niggas, when I say niggas, I mean it's people in general. <laughs> <laughs> feel entitled where they feel like, oh, I can do what I want to do. And get away with it. And get away with it. Like, I know I have friends. I'm not going to say no names. <laughs> <laughs> I know if I got friends, I got people on social media where, you know, they say they're in a relationship. They say they love their girl. But at the same time, I find out from somebody else, oh, yeah, you know he's talking to somebody else and sleeping with this other person. And I'm like, dude, you're in a whole relationship. You got, you just had two kids. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know. So with that being said, I feel like men in general are to feel like they're entitled, where they can get away with it, or to the fact where, oh, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? And then the thing that you know throws me off is when the woman decides to leave or find somebody else. 
you want to cry boo hoo, and I'm just like, dude, you put yourself in that situation. I'm not saying everybody's perfect, everybody makes mistakes, and that's understandable, but it'd be to the point where if I make a mistake, as a grown man, I'm gonna accept it and try to change for the better. But I know a lot of people in general will literally go to the point where I'll make the mistake, oh, she tripping. That's not, you're not, that's not how you're supposed to move. You're supposed to figure out what you did, understand what you did, talk it out. Sometimes it might not go the right way. She might just leave you right there. But at the same time, you need to change for the better. So yeah. that's all I had to say, you know. Absolutely. So, so Terrence, um, do you feel like um, men should should start holding <laughs> other men accountable if they are cheating? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, listen. Um, I'm gonna start. I will, thank you very much. Uh-huh. I'm gonna start by I'm gonna I'm gonna start by by addressing the one to cheat always a cheated part, and then I'll I'll go into men telling on other men, right? Um, one to cheat always a cheater. Okay, one to thief always a thief. One to liar always a liar. Damn. Once a late comer always a late comer. Damn. How would you feel if I judged you by the worst thing you ever did? Dropped. Stop. I really don't believe once a cheater, always a cheater, because I don't believe you should judge people by the worst thing they ever did. Right? Okay, now let's go back to men telling a man. Um, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I, just I, not gonna happen. Yeah, because no, let's, 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 let's appreciate a very important <laughs> fact, right? My relationship to my boy is different. It's different from your relationship to your man. Now, what you need to do is work on your relationship with your man. Damn. I am working on my relationship with my boy, which relies on a lot of things. Uh, me keeping the secret. I love that. Yeah, that's, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm I, not going to ruin my relationship just because y'all, you know, not working out. <laughs> I mean, like, no, 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 no. no. Would you call them out on I'm it? sorry. Yeah, would you call them out on it? Would I call them out? Like, not told the girl, but call your girl like, that was only joking. Wait, wait, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Why is that my business? Yep, I've heard that a lot. Why is that my business? And, and, and that's what I hear. I'm from... not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not perfect. No, wait, this is my question to that, right? Is <laughs> at the end of the day, right? <laughs> your boy is your boy. <laughs> we all know the relationship that men have with Paul's other men, right? That camaraderie, that brotherhood, right? What's the whole purpose of being the best man if you can't hold your your, your friend accountable? Right, okay. Now, <laughs> let, let's, let's talk about that for a second. Now, if you're talking about a friend who um, 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 you know, I'm, I'm really close to and obviously I have to hold them accountable. Now, I have friends like that. If I saw them cheating, I'll talk to them. Okay, okay. If I saw them cheating, I'll definitely talk to them. But there's a difference between my friends and my boys. <laughs> <laughs> My boys are my boys. Oh, you know, my boys, we will do everything together. You know, we will vibe together. You think I want to be left out of the cookout because I told him one person, I'm sorry. Can I tell him, call, like, talk, pull him aside and be like, what's going on? Like, you got a good thing going on? No, 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 no. How would I know he has a good thing going on? Like, you're assuming a whole lot of facts. I can't assume those. There's, okay. Let me, I'll, 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 I'm, I'm going to jump in here, right? Please. Please. No, no, listen, I really want her to tell me, I, I really, listen, I want you to change my mind. <laughs> okay, so my brother, um. Hey, don't be snitching. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, he had a friend that he was really close to who would date our childhood friend. And the guy cheated on my our childhood friend. I'm not And surprised. he pulled him to the side with like, that's like my sister. Like, because what are you your, doing? your brother is in no, I'm sorry, you, but those yeah. are friends. That's but the guy. The guy was his boy, and he was just like, and you need to t- you need to tell her yourself because the the, the the side chick was threatening to tell the main girlfriend. He was like, you need to do damage. You, you know, here's what I'll say about that, right? You know why your brother approached him like that? Who does he hold loyalty to? Is it the childhood friend, or is it his boy that he just met? When did they meet? The Who does he owe that? The childhood friend. Right. Yeah. It's your friend. You know, it comes down to loyalty. I, I, I think that, I think that, I think that, you know, if you remember how we started, you know, in a different conversation, on a different podcast, right? right? You know, we're talking about the family, right? You know, 
And I remember defining a family then as a unit that has a common purpose, okay. right? So I think of my, my, my friends as my family, mm -hmm. right? I have very close friends. I love them to death. I'll never tell them. The reason I'll never tell them I love them to death is because, you know, they're African mm -hmm. men and they don't exactly appreciate being told that you love them. Nope. You know, so it's kind of like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to call all African men out. Like we need to be, we need to liberalize, liber, liberalize love. Yeah. You know, like I got to be able to tell Capo that I love him because I do. I mean, okay with and it. Not, and not, and then be okay with it. Yeah. You know, because we can't, we can't, we can't keep talking about us shooting each other and never address the fact that we never tell each other we, we love them. You know, like, why is it only cool when LeBron says this is Dwayne Wade? Like, why is it not cool when I say it's a capo? Mm. Right? You know, like, we have to liberalize it. You know, like, liberalize it. Okay, now, about the boy, you know, and the friend conversation. In that scenario which you just described with your brother, that's a childhood friend. Like, that's your friend. Exactly. Like, if, okay, now, let me give you yeah. the exact same scenario, right? Say, say the scenario is this, right? You and Capo were dating, you know, and we've known each other from Syria alone or Nigeria or Cameroon for X number of years, right? And then um, Capo started cheating. I'm gonna to talk to Capo. Okay. Right? Okay. But say, for instance, you know, I met you, you know, and then one day we went to, went to a cookout and then I met Capo. And then, you know, Capo and I started chilling, you know, we shooting FIFA and, you know, barbecuing and everything. And then, you know, you know, everything's good. And then, you know, I know this couple is shitting. I'm sorry, it's not my business. <laughs> it, it's not my business. You got to know your place. You got to know your place in these conversations. You can't just go, oh, uh, women, millions, just trying to have a conversation. Hey, no, you, I, I, you there, young man, stop cheating. <laughs> Stop like, cheating. They, like, I mean, come on now. I, I'm not gonna do that. That's inappropriate. You know, I, I feel like you know, you know, when you meet people, you have to respect them. You have to tell the line. This is the line you tell. Right. You know, like it, it comes up to you, just like, I right, hey, listen, your life, your entertainment. Yo, man, this has been a dope conversation. Bro. Mm -hmm. I, there's so many more topics to come. Yo, stuck in the middle, couch talk. We are back in full effect. Valentine is coming. Hey, what? Where's your boyfriend? Excuse us. Hey, shout out to all my single people there. Shout out to all my people in relationships. Shout out to all my people that's fianced and engaged. We see you. Yo, Stuck in the Middle turned four today. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? To all the viewers that keep continuing to support us, go on our website, satmpodcast.com. Continue to share our post and repost. You know, without y'all, we wouldn't be here. We just want to thank y'all once again. This has been Stuck in the Middle Couch Talk. I'm here joined by a wonderful guests. Yo, it's been a great conversation. Check out all the episodes we have. Yo, DMV African, AKA Mr. Gifted Hands, <laughs> underscore 301. Get your girl right. Urban Disciple, Lams, Alamade, Lamb of God. She's here with us. The best immigration lawyer in the city. <laughs> DMV, I'll let your boy, Bobby La Terrence. And last but not least, the writer, the occupational therapist, Miss Cameroon, so to me. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Nane. Yo, Stuck in the Middle podcast. We appreciate you for watching and listening. Stuck in the Middle.